Hi, my name is Amber. Welcome back to my channel, Books and Beaches. So today I am so excited because I am getting the opportunity once again to join Sarah at Sarah's Nightstand and Lindsay at Lindsay's Little Library for Booklist Thursday. So Booklist Thursday is something they do every week. Um, I think Lindsay says they come up with, uh, with a topic She's got a whole big phrase. And so they always come up with something on Thursdays. And then about every two months, they team up with a different booktuber to have five star predictions. And so they take two months, they pick three different books, uh, hoping that they are gonna be five stars. And then two months later, they wrap up and let you know how those books were that they picked. And so for this round in March and April, they asked me if I wanted to join them. And of course I said, yes, this is actually my separate second opportunity to be part of Booklist Thursday. And I am so, so excited. And this time they said they were going to focus on books in a series. <laughs> and boy, did this kind of put me in a bit of a search. So I realized that I haven't read as many books in a series as I thought I had. Now, they didn't have any like specific rules that went along with how these needed to work. Trust me, I checked. I may or may not have been messaging with Lindsay, Lindsay this morning just to make sure my books actually fit into the rules. Um, but I dug through my Goodreads looking for different books that I had already started the series because I knew I could easily already like pick a book in a series to start um, because I am sure back here on my shelves I have books in series waiting to be started but I figured this would be a great opportunity for me to pick some books and series that I have started but haven't finished so in true Amber Books and Beaches fashion I made a spreadsheet <laughs> don't worry I won't put you through sharing that um and I really like sat down and compared a lot of different factors when it came to choosing my three books so each of us is going to be choosing three books for this round um all based in series so whether it's the start of the series or not mine all happen to be either in the middle of series um or I think in one case it might be like the third book in the series and I think that might finish it but who knows authors surprise us all the time so let me tell you about what those books are going to be now in this round for me all of these books are going to end up being on my Kindle, which works out quite nicely because since we're doing this in March and April, at the end of March here, I am going on spring break. I am going to be on the beach for a week. And typically when I'm traveling, I'm going to travel with my Kindle. So this will make it really easy because all of these books are going to be available to me on my Kindle. So I just figured that works out kind of nicely. Um, and with the way they worked out in my spreadsheet, it just worked that way. So let me tell you about these books. All right, now this first one was one that I did double check with Lindsay just to make sure I wasn't cheating. And this is a book that I have off of NetGalley. This book actually doesn't come out until May 21st, but it is the second book in a series. And this is The Gunkle Abroad by Stephen Rowley. So this is the second book in the Gunkle series. Um, I read The Gunkle, I believe it was last year might have been two years ago and just loved it. I love um, our our Uncle Patrick or Gup as his niece and nephew like to call him and so I can't wait to see what he gets up to in this book and basically like a quick premise uh, that we have here it says Patrick O'Hara is called back to his gunkle duties this time for a big family wedding in Italy. So I am not going to read too much into the synop synopsis here because just in case you haven't read The Gunkle, I don't want to spoil anything for you. So I'm going to link actually both of them below uh, so that you have an opportunity to check them out if you are so intrigued. So that is the first book that I will be choosing. After that, I am picking a book that I have probably had on my Kindle since it came out 
because I think I was so excited for the release and then I never picked it up. Uh, and this is a, th and I, now that I'm looking, it came out in 2021 and it's 2034. So I've had this book for quite a while. And this is a book in a series that they all are connected, but it, ne it isn't necessarily like continuing the story. So once again, cheating a little bit, but this is Sunflower Sisters and this is by Martha Hall Kelly. Um, and so they are considering this part of the Woolsey Faraday series. Um, so it is, the first book was Lilac Girls and now of course I can't remember what the second one was. Let me tell you because that would be important. And of course, I'm going to link all of these below for you. Um, so we had Lilac Girls and Lost Roses. That was number two. Um, so we are introduced to um, Carolyn Fairday in Lost, or in Lilac Girls, excuse me. And so now it says in Sunflower Sisters, we are going to get Fairday's ancestor, George Anna Woolsey, a union nurse during the Civil War, whose calling leads her to cross paths with a young enslaved girl who is, who is sold off and conscripted into the army and a Southern plantation mistress whose husband enlists. So I figured I have a bit of a contemporary novel. I'll have a historical fiction uh, in this one. And I believe I also have the audio of this one on Audible. So I'll be fully prepared for that one. And then I am sure you can guess what genre my third book might be coming from <laughs> because I wanted to make sure I was dabbling a little bit of everywhere for this project. And of course, I had to pick a thriller. And so I thought I would pick The Kind Worth Saving by Peter Swanson. Now, I read The Kind Worth Killing, I believe it was the beginning of last year, and remember quite enjoying it. Now, I cannot remember if I gave it a five star or not. So I am hoping this one is going to be just as good because I kind of remember reading that one thinking I knew exactly what was going to happen and then being like, wait, what? So I thought this would be a great one because this is book number two. And I think once I look this up, the newest book he has coming out might be connected to the series as well. So this one says it is going to be... A private eye starts to follow a possibly adulterous husband, but little does he know that the twisted trail will lead back to the woman that hired him. So I'm not exactly sure how it's going to be connected to the first novel. I don't want to read too much more because as you know, I say it a lot with my thrillers, the less I know the better because I think sometimes they do spoil them. So those are going to be my three books that I am doing for this round of Bookless Thursday five star predictions. I am hoping they're all going to be fabulous reads. And like I said, I can't wait because I'm going to be doing some of this reading on the beach. Very fitting for Books and Beaches. Um, I also cannot wait to see what Lindsay and Sarah have picked for their three selections. So I will make sure to link their channels in the description box below. So make sure you go and check out what they have as well. As always, if you like this video, feel free to like and subscribe and I will see you next time.